In the last video, we have downloaded Geth and the Mist Wallet. And in this video, we are going to create our own private blockchain. And it sounds fantastic because with your own private blockchain, you can start mining Ether, you can play around and it will cost you nothing and you're completely separated from the public chain. In order to get this started, you need something called a Genesis block. And the Genesis block is used to initialize the chain. And to do that, we need certain commands for our Go Ethereum node. And I have downloaded the Genesis JSON file already. The Genesis JSON file doesn't look very uh, outstandingly interesting. It just defines some initial uh, values for your own private blockchain. And that's, I will not tell you exactly what the values stand for. You can Google that easily on the internet, but we provide you with the Genesis JSON file. I have opened up the GitHub repository from the Go Ethereum client. You can find this on github.com slash ethereum slash go dash ethereum. And if you scroll down, then in the readme directly, you find how to operate a private network. And this is pretty much the same. What is written here is what we're going to do now in our command line. So first of all, we need to get in it with a certain JSON file. But in addition to that, I want to have it save the chain data in a custom directory. Now in the console, so first of all, I'm going to create a new directory for my chain data. And then I'm going to initialize geth with the Genesis JSON file and let it save everything, all the chain data into my chain data directory. So to do that, I give it a data directory chain data and I init with Genesis JSON. And if you wrote everything correctly, then you will see that it will correctly use the directory for the chain data and it will successfully write a Genesis block. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to start geth with my data directory. And it should automatically start and completely detached from the public chain. So if you have typed everything right, then this should be the window that looks like after starting up Geth with the new initialized chain data directory. Now what you want to do next is you want to open a second console and I want to attach to the first geth uh, instance. And you do this by typing geth attach. So now you are on the Go Ethereum JavaScript console from this node, which is running there behind, and you can do different things. One of the things that you can do from here now is start mining that you are getting actually some ether into your accounts, but you have no accounts yet. And instead of doing this here, we are going to open our wallet Mist. And Mist internally has a Go Ethereum client. But if the Go Ethereum client is running already, like we have it here, it will just connect directly to this Go Ethereum client. And if you start up Mist, then it will immediately look for accounts in your directory, in your uh, data directory that you uh, gave it before. It will look in chain data for some accounts and there are none yet. So we are going to add an account. I will create a new account. I will enter a password. It is generating an account and I will authorize my main account 
to share it with my wallet. Now I have zero Ether in my account. And to get some Ether into my account, I should start mining. And I cannot do this here because I'm not on a net on a test net or on the main net. I am on a private net. Let me just switch this to English. No, I'm on I'm not on the main net, I'm not on a test net, I am on my personal private network. And to start the mining now, I go to my second console where I attached and I type in miner.start and I give it the amount of threads I want to start with and I hit enter. And after a short while, it should actually start mining into my main account. And once it's starting mining, it will actually mine a lot of ether in a short time. The reason is because the difficulty is not very hard yet because I'm actually the only person on my own private network. So after a while, a short while, it will first uh, pre-generate the uh, DAG and then it will start mining. And as you can see in the background, mining really works rapidly. The only thing that I've done in the meantime, because it took quite a while uh, that the mining actually started, I stopped it and I started it with three frets. And I can stop it again. And as you can see, it immediately stops mining. And I have now 203.59 Ether in my account. Of course, unfortunately, this is my private network, so it's only for my personal use in my private net. And in the next lecture, we are going to play around with Solidity and deploy our first distributed app into our private network.